46 women were vying for 24 spots as well. 16-year-old Oksana Bayul, the exciting European silver medalist from Ukraine, was second in her pool. Oksana serving notice. She'll be a medal contender here as well. For Natalie Craig, her spins were, as always, the best in the field. And with two triples this time to back them up, she squeaked into the final with an 11th place finish. Many believe China to be a developing third world country, but China's Liu Chen has already been third in the world, and her development in the past year was reflected in her winning her qualifying pool and maybe the best five-year plan her country has ever produced. Earlier this week, Nancy Kerrigan called this new elimination process, quote, a pain in the butt. Literally, that's what it was for Nancy. She finished second behind Saria Bonnelly. At the Canadian Championships, José Chouinard appeared to have settled with the demon of inconsistency. The demon reappeared in Prague, and as a result, José qualified fourth. Karen Preston was very typical of her practices this week. She was solid, consistent, and very relaxed to finish fourth in qualifying Group B. At 25, Marina Kielman is an example that age and experience can overcome youth and energy as she attempts to stay ahead of a field of teenagers who possess talent beyond their years. The judges got a good look at the improvement in the Saria Bonnelly package. She's come a long way in a year, and with the confidence she's shown here, many think she could come out on top. We'll be back with more of the 1993 World Figure Skating Championships from Prague after this. 1960 in Squaw Valley, a young American beauty named Carol Heiss captivated the world by winning Olympic gold for the U.S. Well, 33 years later, she is here in Prague now coaching two of the American entries in these world championships. When I look back over the last 33 years and remember my skating career, it's with a very, very warm, wonderful feeling. It was just a cold, wintry day and we just all went out on the lake and it was a family afternoon. And uh, when the lake wasn't frozen anymore, we said, well, why can't we go skating? And my mother was um, just very energetic and very enthusiastic. And she said, well, well, we'll find a place to skate. And then I skated pretty much every day. Now here's the girl to watch, Miss Carol Heist. Winning the first American gold medal in Squaw Valley, California, was the storybook ending to Carol Heiss's brilliant career. She entered the competition as four-time reigning world champion, proving her excellence one more time. I remember just standing there thinking, a very patriotic feeling and I remember I had to open up the box and look at it to be sure it was gold and it really was the Olympic medal and then it became a very personal feeling. Carol Heiss grew up in New York City and was warmly welcomed home when she returned. She married U.S. men's figure skater Hayes Jenkins just months after Squaw Valley. Between them they each hold an Olympic championship and nine world gold medals. The all-American sweetheart had it all. I just love the competition and the friends and the traveling and everything that went with it and uh, my dream now is to um, coach an Olympic champion 15 year old Lisa Irvin may someday help Carol fulfill this dream with similar styles and mutual adoration they seem a perfect pair when Lisa was seven her life changed forever moving by herself to Cleveland to train with some form of skate you know, I was a typical seven-year-old. I didn't really know who she was. She was just another person standing in front of me. But um, after I'd gotten, you know, a tryout and I'd come back for the summer and I'd spent time with her, you know, it really hit me that she was a real person and she did all these things and, you know, Olympic champion and she was everything that I wanted to be. Following in her coach's footsteps, Urban's success has skyrocketed. 
winning novice and junior championships back to back and delving into seniors competition with immediate success, taking the silver at the recent U.S. Nationals. And I've always been sort of an underdog and I love being an underdog because everyone usually says, they usually count you out. And I'm trying to tell, you know, I'm trying to you know, paint a picture that you can never count me out. For some, the world championships bring disappointment and shock. Those feelings are all too real for Tanya Kwiatkowski. When last Monday she failed to advance in the world's first ever qualifying round. I had a great week in practice, I felt good, my warm-up was good, and when I got out there I just could not get my feet underneath me, I just, no matter what I tried, it just didn't, didn't happen. You know, I was really upset, I was sad, I was kind of shocked, and it's, you just have to deal with it and go on. I really died a little bit inside because as a, another woman, you know, looking in the skater, uh, my first instinct was not really as a coach, but as a, as a friend. Um, just thinking, I wish I could help her somehow. You know, you just can't shake those things off. So one Carol Heiss protege rudely eliminated early. Here's the other, Lisa Irvin. She'll be 16 next month. The failure of her teammate Kwiatkowski has to have impacted her, Sandra. Oh boy, and sometimes those nerves are contagious amongst friends. She must feel like she's skating for the both of them. The technical program, and what are the elements? Well, there are eight of them, and it's do or die. Competitor. Yeah, I like her moxie. Well, she is the future, and here is the present. Nancy Kerrigan, U.S. number one, and favored to win the gold in Prague. She'll skate later. I spoke with Boyd Bridges over the Vltava River in the beautiful city of Prague. We're back at the Sportovny Halla. The ladies technical program continuing and Surya Bonali from France, three times on a row the European champion, still angry about her performance in Oakland at the World's year ago. Her mother, ever present mother, Suzanne watching backstage. And look at this face. One of the bright young stars on the continent, Tanya Sevchenko. Is room above her, but this should put her in a very strong position. There's her mother. Adopted mother Suzanne. Ever present. And a rare smile. Didn't see many of those a year ago. Well, this young lady is definitely after a medal. And someone who can challenge that is Jose Chouinard from Canada, getting in the groove. And we'll see her as NBC Sports World continues. Nancy Kerrigan catching a look at Bona Lee by Backstage Television and watching Kerrigan, the 15-year-old sensation from the Ukraine. Oksana Bayul, second behind Bona Lee at the Europeans. Now Bona Lee for her marks. <laughs> and waiting her turn. Young Oksana Bayul from the tennis to the top apparently is the total package. Are those eyes competitive? Age 15. She'll be skating soon. Yeah. Meanwhile, backstage, Kurt Browning congratulates Nancy Kerrigan, while Bayul has offered more than a moderate threat. Back teenager Oksana Bayul, the picture of innocence, don't be fooled, she's tough. And Nancy Kerrigan, backstage, she's the image of confidence, don't be fooled, she's nervous. Tanya Sevchenko, Lenka the last to skate before the final six. And coming up, the real battle for the gold. Surya Bonali has plenty of European support. She'll have to beat the pride of Massachusetts, Nancy Kerrigan.
All right, Katarina, and here's the starting order. Bayul will go first. Kerrigan should like that spot, fifth before the Canadian Schwinar. And as we watch them warm up, Bayul has had some trouble in landing her jumps during the warm up, but for a woman of so few years, trouble is something she has handled very well. It is hard to believe how much this 15-year-old from the Ukraine has accomplished in such a short time. Oksana Bayul's childhood was filled with tragedy. She lost her father when she was very young and her mother just two years ago. She now lives with her coach and somehow finds a depth of spirit that gives her unlikely confidence. Oksana, I understand you said uh, you came here to win the world. I want to win the world, but I really want to entertain the audience. Her ability to excite the audience certainly materialized at the European Championships just two months ago. Awesome Oksana captured the crowd with her unique charm, incredible jumps. Her adult ability wrapped in youthful innocence and vulnerability make her irresistibly attractive. Here in Prague, her graceful and flirtatious style belies her 15 years, and like any budding star, she follows the path of an idol. Hers is an American. Well, I understand your favorite skater is Jill Tranami, and that for you, she does the idol skating. I love Jill as a woman. She looks like a real woman on the ice, and our sport is figure skating. You must train, but basically our sport is figure skating and we must skate as women on the ice. I'm competing in ladies figure skating and I want to show off my beauty. And she'll try to emulate the skating beauty of Jill Trenary, her childhood idol. To be sure, the new generation of figure skating heroes are here in Prague. Primary evidence, Oksana Bayou. Now the moment for the Odessa Ukraine 15 year old Oksana Bayou. Sandra, how about going first after the warm up? Good or bad? Her coach says it's to her advantage that she likes to go out first right away, but she had a very, very tentative warm up. And this is one of the things that she's done at Europeans and also the technical competition yesterday. She takes her time getting out to her position. Skaters, before we see Nancy Kerrigan, Bayul has delivered her challenge. We're back in Bayul, brilliant with her bouquets. Her job is well done. Look, right by Nancy Kerrigan and her coach, Mary Scottville. They tried to ignore Bayul, tough to do. And difficult to ignore, Surya Bonali. Here's Gail Gardner. Surya Bonali is a striking and exotic figure on the ice. She is also somewhat of a mystery. Wherever you find Surya, you will also find her adoptive mother, Suzanne. And therein lies the story. She likes to control everything. Yes. And it's, in a way, uh, it's a little stupid sometimes. Suzanne Bonali is not coach. Me, I am the coach. Uh, if uh, I work with the Surya, I am the first. Now Suzanne Bonali. There is really a, a danger for Surya because, uh, you know, she received a special education. She was always outside the, the real life of a, of a girl of uh, his a hedge. They are rarely seen apart. Surya has never been to a formal school. And now, after rocky relationships with her daughter's first two coaches, Suzanne Bonali, a woman with no skating background, trains Surya with little input from the official coach, Alain Giletti. In training, we are so much together and everywhere. Uh, she knew me better than my coach. I like my coach, but sometimes he can do cannot uh, understand me exactly at this second or this minute, you know. 
Suzanne Bonnelli certainly understands her daughter. She should. She's always with her, even during interviews, occasionally guiding Surya's answers with unexplained hand signals. To truly understand the story, you have to go back to its beginning. According to Mrs. Bonnelly, Surya was born off the coast of Africa on tiny Reunion Island, an exotic location to say the least. The Bonnellys found Surya there, three months old and without a family. They adopted her and brought her back to France, to Nice, where she grew up on the family's goat farm. From an early age, she excelled at athletics. She was a world champion in novice tumbling. Along the way, she started figure skating. And the rest is on the record. An incredible story, but just one problem. It's not true. There have been some stories recently that said you were, in fact, not from Reunion Island, mm -hmm. but from Nice, mm -hmm. and nobody seems to know what the truth is, and so I guess I'm asking you. Yeah. Oh, it's you... difficult because some people want to, I born in Reunion, but me, I know I, I'm born in Nice. It's why it's a little bit uh, uh, different, uh, but many noise, I don't know exactly, because uh, when we are adults, we can say before 18. I guess may maybe your mother can help us with this. Um, no? <laughs> That's good. So you you were born in Nice? Mm -hmm. In Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it's a difficult question this because uh, some people want to say I'm born in uh, Reunion. Oh, yes. And some in Nice, but okay. we are not sure exactly. Surya Bonnelli was born in Nice, and that comes from someone who should know. Didier Gayage, her first coach. He helped make up the Reunion Island story. The media likes to be a great story. Sometimes, you know, we, we help the stories, right, a little bit. So, you know, we, 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 had a, we have a very, well, Surya is a very good story. But, you know, we help a little. Stars are not people that are uh, clean-cut, perfect people. They must be different. And Surya is different, so she can be a star. So much to battle through, and that may provide the clearest insight into Surya herself. Through it all, she's been European champion for three years running, and tonight she skates for a world title. Thank you, Gail. Bonalee's strength is athletic power, her weakness now more understandable, emotional security. She collapsed at the Worlds last year. How will she hold up tonight? With the moment, Bayou leads Mona Lee with Chen Lu of China to skate next. And down the line, Nancy Kerrigan. And these teenagers have made it very tough for the woman favored to win the gold in Prague. Mona Lee now a most inter interested spectator. And now artistic impression, the 20-year-old Yuka Sato of Japan will skate next. And then Nancy Kerrigan, and the competition has made it tough for her to win the gold. And Nancy Kerrigan waiting her turn for artistic impression. Sato, she likes those. <laughs> they went up. <laughs> Ladies figure skating in the United States is a long and glorious one. Right now, the woman in the spotlight is 22-year-old Nancy Kerrigan, and she is definitely feeling a lot of pressure. Okay. Nancy's the one that puts pressure on me because she doesn't want to disappoint anybody. It's a different role for Nancy, and she's moved up fairly quickly into a place of prominence, so it's scary. Maybe a little overwhelming. It began one year ago at the Albertville Olympics when Nancy Kerrigan emerged with her stoic elegance. The U.S. national champion, no longer just a kid from Stone Mass, but a young woman who everyone wanted a part of. She has great beauty both her appearance and her skating, and that uh, 
brings a lot of attention to her that the average skater doesn't get. She gets probably more commercials, more offers every day the phone is ringing because of her dark beauty and her popularity is just skyrocketing. Alright! One, two, three, four! Take it to the limit Live it to the full Everybody's gotta get some Everybody wants you It's almost too much. It's almost too much. She becomes emotional, and, and you know, it's, every once in a while she'll cry. Like, I can't do this. I just can't do any more of this. All I want to do is skate. She gets very frustrated when she has a lot to do. I says, if you think about all you have to do, you're going to be a physical wreck and a mental wreck. Just take one step at a time. For the first time ever, 22-year-old Nancy moved away from home and now lives on Cape Cod, closer to the rink where she trains. She finds it lonely sometimes and often visits her family where she's most comfortable. But lately these days, she cherishes those quiet moments alone. Always on the go, Nancy has very little time to ever unpack before her next trip. So she comes to Prague on a mission to prove to herself that she can handle it all. The celebrity, the stardom, and the pressure of being expected to win. I'm still the same person, and I'm doing the same kinds of things. Christy isn't there, so now I am the favorite, but I'm still doing the same thing and going after the same kind of goals to go out there and do my best, you know, at the time that I can and to do what I've been training so many years for. And tonight she begins the ultimate journey. Gail Nancy Kerrigan. Hers to win, hers to lose. A year ago, in the final six, most of the ladies fell and fell often, Kerrigan included, and she still got the silver. Now she's going to have to skate literally the best she ever has to beat the young competitors who have offered a terrific challenge. Last year's Olympic bronze medalist and silver medalist in the World Championships, Nancy Kerrigan, trying to smile through a painful moment where dreams have uh, broken on this frog ice. How do you handle the pressure? She's been the focus of this competition for a year now. Everybody's been calculating whether she's able to handle it or not. It's, it's tough, it's real tough. <laughs> nope. Oh my God, I just lost it. It was tough. But it was fine. I mean, fine. We can't take it out of that. Sorry. Oh, well, not that I would have to worry about that. Now. I have my. Anything can be. Oh my God. Oh. I don't care what other people do, it's what I do that matters to me. That wasn't it. It's not what I can do. This is too tight now. Yeah? It's too tight, it hurt. The whole time. It doesn't matter. I just want to die. Oh my god. Technical merit first. The marks are accurate. The last time the United States did not medal in the Ladies World Championship, 1969, and Kerrigan was the final hope. No. Oh, I did kind of almost did it, didn't I? I don't know what happened here, I don't know. 
It's lonely in first place to be the favorite. Oksana Bayul, a new star acknowledging autograph seekers here in Prague. Nancy Kerrigan being consoled backstage. She drops to sixth place. And on the ice, last to skate in fourth place, 23-year-old French-Canadian Jose Chouinard recaptured her Canadian title this year as considered a serious challenge for a spot on the world podium. A troubled trip for Jose Chouinard. Heartbreaking. Meanwhile, the emotions, the opposite. Backstage, victory tears flow for Oksana Bayul. For the first time, she now knows she is the world champion. And the world has just fallen in love with Oksana. Her coach, Galina, standing to the left, said to me that when Oksana's mother died two years ago, she was left with nobody. Nobody at all. Can you imagine what this must feel like now with all this love? What a picture. Oksana, the champion of the world at 15, and no one knew her six months ago. Yep, she has passed by Nancy Kerrigan in more ways than one. Kerrigan finishes officially fifth. We'll try to get her reaction later. Wondering, who was that whirlwind that just walked by? And the silver earned by Surya Bonnelli. That's the highest finish for a French woman since 1952. Well, it takes a special strength to be able to perform when it counts, and boy, did she have that tonight. On the podium, all teenagers officially. The gold to Bayul, 15. Bonnelli, 19. The silver. Chen Lu, 16. The bronze. Sato, Kerrigan, 5th. Kielman, the German, 6th. And the younger German talent, 15 year old Sevchenko. And Katarina Vint is with our new world champion. Congratulations, Oksana. I'm just totally speechless what you've done tonight. I mean, did you ever really expect it to win those worlds? No, I did not expect it, but I'm very happy. I mean, do you have any idea what this probably going to mean to you now to be a world champion and go like this into the Olympics next year? No, I cannot imagine it. Well, are you going to take some time off now and just enjoying yourself? Or are you going to go on tour and just keep working hard? My coach and I have not decided yet where we want to go to rest, but soon we will start preparing the Olympic season. Well, I wish you the best of luck and congratulations again. You were just amazing. Amazing, incredible. That fits this evening of unbelievable skating theater. Nancy Kerrigan has agreed to talk with us. We'll get that as well as Katerina Vett will comment on her Olympic future after this. Go ahead and try my best. Well, Katerina, take a look. Here they are, the stars against whom you'll compete in Lillehammer, 1993 world medalist and for Oksana Bayul. She creates history, the new Ukrainian flag, and for the first time ever, the Ukrainian anthem at the World Championships.
World Championship may have set the record in tears, victory and defeat. And on the negative side, some from Nancy Kerrigan. She's with Gale.